Hello and welcome to another video and today I'm going to show you how I make my chicken tasty. Let's do it. Hello and welcome. Uh, and today's video is going to be a little bit different. I've done full days of eating, I've done workouts in the gym, but now I'm going to sort of cover a little few tips for meal prepping. So, a lot of people ask me how I do it, how I keep on top of it. Um, some people choose to do it for an entire week and freeze it, but um, as somebody who has a family, um, the freezer is pretty full of um, foods for everybody else in the house, not just myself. So what I tend to do is I'll cook a meal um, on the evening. So I'll come in from work and I'll cook something, say like uh, chicken, rice, chicken pasta, steak, uh, turkey mince, etc. But what I'll do is instead of cooking one portion because everyone else will be eating something else, I'll cook two portions or maybe three, depending on what I'm using. And then I'll put that aside for maybe the following day or the following evening. So there's my first tip. Um, just keep on top of it. Just keep the meals simple and just keep going. Never just do one meal at a time because you won't stay on top of it. It's too easy to go, oh, I just can't want to cook a meal tonight, so I'll cook something else. So if you cook multiples, then you tend to stay on top easier. So what I'm going to cook today is, it's going to be a uh, jerk chicken. Um, now let me just say now, for anybody that's of Jamaican origin, or an origin that might be really good at cooking, I'm not. I'm just going to be using sauces and seasonings you can just buy from a supermarket. Um, different supermarkets have different things so it won't be the, the perfect uh, taste but what I'm saying is it's what's on the bottle it's what's on this, the the uh, top of seasoning so yeah I'm gonna class it as a jerk chicken so tip number one is the, my biggest tip it's one I got taught a long time ago but a lot of people complain about dishes um, this makes it a lot easier to clean your tray after just line it in foil and then I will spray a little bit of oil in there so it doesn't stick. Um, but yeah, once you finish cooking, it's cooled down. Throw your tin foil away, and your tray just needs a really quick um, wash, rather than having to try and scrub uh, lots of sauce and things off. So what I'll do is I've got my chicken. Um, so I've got a bowl of I've got three uh, three um, chicken breasts in there. What I'm going to do is two because two of the chicken breasts are quite small, and I, th I like a around 250 grams of raw chicken breast is, is what i think is a, a decent amount for a meal so um that's what i'm gonna go with quickly before i carry on you haven't noticed the really dodgy mustache it is mo it is movember um i did put a post up on instagram so if you want to go and check that out um, i am trying to raise awareness for men's health um won't talk about it too much because it's all up on the instagram so go and have a look at my instagram it's linked in my description below um, so yeah, I really appreciate if you can share that and raise the awareness. So I have got the oven preheated to 180 degrees. It is a fan oven, um, just in case you're wondering why it's a bit slow if you're using a normal oven. Um, so that tends to cook it about half an hour for me. So what I'm going to do is I get a mixing bowl, um, and what I'll do is first of all I put a little bit of spray in there now. I do use Fry Light. This is a uh, sunflower oil one. These are one cal spray, um, and that is one calorie. Um, I think it's equates to about five sprays. Uh, keeps it to that. So I'll just spray that in there just to stop us sticking too much. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my chicken in. You see what I mean about the smaller breast there. Um, so yeah, just putting them in. Now once I put them in, obviously now, I just a quick one, I have washed my hands before, uh, but now I'll put the chicken in, I'm just going to wash my hands again just to uh, get the raw chicken off. So, first thing I'm going to do, a little bit of uh, Himalayan pink salt, just a touch, just to keep the sodium levels nice, a little bit of seasoning. Um, for, I follow on that with the whole black peppercorns. Again, I don't, I don't measure any of this, I've got, I've got no secret recipe just how I like to season it um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is this I believe they're from uh, Aldi but they are available at places like Tesco uh, as the other equivalents if you're in America maybe Walmart something like that I'm not too sure um, this is just a 
general chicken seasoning. This is just a one that I'm just going to literally just sprinkle a little bit over. Um, and just some just some mixed herbs. Again, just a general amount. So that's how I generally just uh, season a chicken. And then I choose something to go on that. So this might be peri peri. It might be barbecue. Um, but today's is... Jamaican jerk and this is a Schwartz seasoning I believe this is from either Asda or Tesco so as you can see that's why I've saying it's a jerk chicken it, is, it says on the seasoning um, this is one that I mainly want to get get a good amount on so just get a good, good amount for each of the breasts in there okay so now that's nothing but dry seasoning so people might be thinking this is going to be a really dry meal so this is where sauce comes in i love sauce on food and particularly this one this was actually uh, an aldi one i believe it was only just over a pound a skeeter's jerk sauce um, so now i'm going to add some of this in and then we're going to get it around the chicken breast so. okay so i'll bring you over here so now you can see in there, okay, got the uh, the sauce and the seasonings. Um, and now what we're going to do is I'm just going to mix that up um, and just make that ready to go on the um, tray. So I will just be mixing it up with my hands, um, and then I'll show you the finished product. So as you can see there, I've just mixed that all with my hand, just make sure you're rubbing in the sauce and the seasoning. Really quick, really easy, nothing special. So again, because I've touched raw chicken, I've just been and washed my hands. So now I am going to get it onto the tray. So I know I'll put a little bit of this in the bowl, but just to stop it sticking, as you can see there, light spray all over the tray. And then what we're going to do now is I'm just going to pour this out because it'll get some extra sauce on the tray as well. So, as you can see there, chicken's on the tray, and these are just going to go into the oven now. So, I do like to put them on the bottom shelf of the oven. For me, this just keeps them cooking really steadily. I'm going to give it about half an hour, 45 minutes. What we are going to do is we're going to turn them over every 10 to 15 minutes. So. See you when it's time to do a bit more. So there we have it guys, that's how I'm going to have my lunch for tomorrow. I've got the chicken breast and the veg in there. Try and eat um, ten, low to zero carb uh, the, day at work, the day at work, sorry, because I am mainly just sat at a desk. Um, I've also got two chicken breasts I'm going to have now uh, with some rice. Um, I did put a little bit of sauce on there, I don't know if you, if you, if you saw that. That is just a, uh, a peri-peri uh, mayonnaise. Again, I do believe that could be uh, an Aldi one. Uh, so just a really light drizzle of sauce um, just keeps it nice and um, succulent when we come to eat it so yeah there we have it guys really easy chicken um, seasoned chicken and that's what I tend to go to it keeps that protein level high carbs low with the the, uh, the veg and that is just um, 
boiled veg that it's actually um really easy it's just out of a freezer bag i'm proper lazy when it comes to veg um so yeah if you wanted me to see sorry if you want me to show you any more uh recipes that i like to go to any of my re um just go go to foods steak uh, turkey mince however i prepare them hit me up in the comments let me know or message me on instagram or facebook and let me know what you want to see um, if you've enjoyed this video and it's been helpful please give it a like and as always if you're new to the channel please subscribe and look out for more great content thank you all for watching see you in the next one